Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So, by the title of this video, you can sort of already see uh, what we're expecting uh, out of this particular product we're just about to review. This is one we've had in the store now for quite some time mm -hmm. and because of quarantine and lockdown, um, you know, we haven't had a full sort of season or, or sort of full buying season with it yet, but yeah. the early impressions of this shaft, Matty Boy, were that it was going to be the hottest seller in the store mm. this, this year. Just us. based on what you've already done in the last few weeks? Um, before. Oh, before you Beforehand, even. and oh. then, you know, since obviously we came back, it's been great as well. Nice. But the, uh, the, the rebranding and relaunch of uh, a classic um, shaft model, the Matori F1 and F3. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, and so are we talking about kind of the advancements in materials? 10 years, yeah, 10 years of, of tech, 10 years of development. Uh, prior to them developing this in the first place, Fujikura never had Enzo. So oh, that's right. That's, yeah. that's got to be something that has been a big, big part of this. It's probably, you know, if you want to, you know, for a cheesy term, it's, it's F1 and F3 on steroids. Yeah, of course. Because yeah. of what they've learned from, uh, from Enzo. Mm -hmm. So everything from the materials using higher grade materials from you know the paint they use how using less paint in order to get sort of more premium uh, uh, materials in there all of that stuff is is important so we've got f3 f1 f3 is sort of designated as the higher launch higher spin version yeah it is but really when you look at the the bend profile of both matt it's it's not so much um, you know, because you would say if, if it was a higher launch or lower launch, you, you'd think automatically tip section. Tip section. The reality is the tip section on both of them is almost identical. Okay. Um, mid section's similar, and then the butt section is the biggest difference between these two. So the F3 is a little bit softer, and the, the, the butt okay. section just for a little smoother feel. Yep. Um, and then F1, obviously, for, for the players who are loading it a little bit harder. Um, that would be more of the preference. Okay, so it's more, you don't necessarily pick it based on a person's flight, it's more how quick is their transition, how much are they that. sort of moving it. Okay, exactly. good. Yep. Nice. Yep, yep. So we're gonna hit them both. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna go with F3 first, the slightly softer one. So ease you in with some smoother swings, and then you can start to go after, uh, it, you know, go after it a little bit. I'll sort of preempt what I think is gonna be the, uh, the, the question on, on, you know, the people who know about the, the, the techie things like F1 and, and, and you know, the Matora shafts, a lot of people want to know how does it compare to Ventus? Oh, okay. That'll be, I think, because it's, is this technically a line below Ventus? Yes. In the yeah. hierarchy? Well, price point and, uh, and obviously, you know, the, the golfer, I think that it's aimed at is, is probably a, a, a slightly more a neutral golf swing, okay. maybe a like, little less speed, a little less speed um, yeah. and, and price point. You, yeah. you, can't, uh, you can't ignore the, the price point. Ventus mm. is obviously premium, and this would be one step down in terms gotcha. of price point, 275 More US, affordable, obviously. Yeah, kind of 399 Canadian sort of thing. Great. Okay, well, let's get into a few swings. Okay. A lovely opener. It's no good. <laughs> Lovely. Nice high launch, low spinner. Well, if you took a season supply of those, you'd be a happy lad, wouldn't you? Ah, I would be happy. 306, 329. Pretty similar, a little knuckly. Yeah, did it chased a little more for you that one up to the front edge, Matty boy. Part of it is the nature of me trying to turn it. I think I'm trying to turn it left to right, obviously, with mm. the holes, so we know we'll, we'll knock some spin down. Now, for the, the purpose of this fun test, you have flipped your weights around and went with the heavy weight up front, and that's probably why we are seeing lower spins than normal, even though, well, I mean, the loft's down a little bit, but, you know, we're picking, picking hairs there with Definitely. that splitting hairs. 16, you know, if you were 17, we'd be really happy with it. So I think the CG being forward is the culprit. Gotcha. But it's definitely the bomber's flight, that's for sure. We just need that speed up into the mid-170s and we're, we're on. cooking. Okay, start ramping it up a bit. And I'm, I'm curious to see how the F3 holds up when you do start. 
try and connect a little bit. Three identical start line and, and curvature patterns though. Yeah. Those looked exactly the same. It's kind of one step up. I could probably obviously go a little faster. Yeah, it's a little bit quicker and you struck it a couple of dimples lower, uh, which got your launch angle down and your spin, spin rate up a bit. kicked up. But I mean, that's that's neutral territory. That's not. That's the golf course. To, yeah, no, it's ideal, about, isn't it? But yeah. it is. You can see your relationship, your spin loft relationship, actually stayed very similar. Mm. Uh, usually, just as purely strike point. Okay. All right. So let's give us two more, and uh, you know, let's see if we can get the second one to a 175 ball speed, and see where that gets us. Okay. Not bad. Good to the old uh, Mavericki. I mean, it's straight as a string, isn't it? I'd be really happy with all of those. <laughs> it holds up fine, dude. I'll tell you what, that's, that's got the bomber. Yeah, bomber does. flight, higher does. launch there, lower spin. Is it fast enough? Get up that hill. Was that 172 there? Yeah, that's what it, f just under maybe. Yeah, 172, just. okay. So, it really the, the, only, the only thing that's gonna get this much better is just going to be just ramping up the speed i, I don't think i can just seen input. five better drives from you in all honesty no. i don't go 1.45 efficiency four or five times in a row very often that's a hell of a shaft right there yeah 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 you would have no issue uh, with that i mean and, and you can see why matty we're talking you know and some people might roll their eyes at bang for your buck but uh -huh. in a world of 500 dollars shaft which is in all honesty the world we live in it is you know, from the, the graphite design DIs of the world to the Ventus to TPT, 650 bucks, that sort of thing. You know, this thing's coming out for under 400 bucks, so 379, 399, Canadian, somewhere in that yeah. region, Canadian. Great value, 275 US. The reality is, if you want to save some money, go a driver that may be one season old, two yep. seasons old, there's your 275. You can invest in a shaft that probably would last yep. you a few generations. One thing we haven't mentioned, which is what every time I give this to someone, they mention the graphics and how cool those it graphics are. Yeah, I love the kind of flat so finish. Sharp. It's a flat finish of the black, but it's not like, I don't know, it's not mm. overly matte finish. Yeah. Still got a bit of gloss to it, but they did a good job. I think it, you know, it may not be the most expensive shaft on the wall, but it certainly looks awfully good. Yeah, yeah. really, really good. It's okay, very let's sharp. flip into the uh, Uno. Okay, um, so. A waggle well, test. We, we can call it the, the big brother to the F3, the, yep. the stronger uh, model. You know, again, you know, talking about the uh, the profiles in the, in the two, they, they are from the midsection to the tip, almost identical. Hmm. F1 gets a fraction more tip stiff, but I mean, fractionally, uh, the difference, as I say, it's, it's in the butt section. So I'll be curious to you if, if the feedback on this is that it feels a little stiffer. Huh? One of the ways in which they've managed to do that is they've actually just uh, increased the, the, the butt diameter in the shaft. So this one is a little bit yeah, more so this uh, is 610, a diameter. Yeah, this the, uh, the other one's 600. Gotcha. Um, so again, like we always talk about, that you know, the, the larger the, you make the diameter, the stiffer that part of the shaft is gonna play. Is that a way to keep the cost reasonable also? It is, it yeah. is for sure. Gotcha. Yeah. And then probably you can take two very similar profiles and. Uh, and, and change them a little bit in, in that subtle way and, and you can create differences. I kind of like, you know, we test a lot of shafts that I think vary quite a bit between models and, and that has its yeah. place. Yeah. But it's also nice to have, you know, one that is basically maybe just come down to mostly feel differences. Yeah. Like, you know, whether you feel it transition mm. a certain way at the top, it may be good for you or not. Well, this will be interesting to see how your numbers stack up here, delivery yeah. and uh, launch conditions. I hit it about as good as I could with the other one. So. You couldn't have given it as much more. What I find the difference is usually when, and we did it with the new Tensi series, usually mm -hmm. when you give me something that's a little firmer overall, I think I just naturally ramp up the speed a little bit. Yeah, sure, you a trust it level. a little bit more. Yeah. I think that's a, a fair assessment of what yeah. would happen for most people. All right, let's see. It's held its line really nicely again, yeah, but I mean, a little kind of high in the face, but good, good shot. It would be hard to tell much of a difference from the uh, no, the other one. I'm gonna tee it down a shade. Blue out deep. Oh, white one. Oh, oh. <laughs> smoke the sun. Gray station wagon did. 
Are you feeling any differences with the, the sort of, you know, the handle, with it being a little stiffer in the handle? It's doing the complete opposite of what I thought was going to happen. Oh, I mean, everyone's going to be saying, well, isn't the, isn't the, the stiff one supposed to be better for Matt? Yeah, I'm mixing the strike all over the place like I would have expected to do with the softer one. Mm. They don't feel crazy dissimilar, but when I come through, I'm, I'm just not finding the, uh, the face the same, same consistency. Take me a few more to get used to it, I'm not sure. Hmm. Pretty a good swing, that one. Familiar. Yeah. And maybe give you one more. I just can't seem to find the middle of the face as often. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. I think my face control is okay, but I'm definitely Get up there. That drive was not nearly as good as it ended up. And a whole lot of whole lot of different stuff going on. That's a nice one. Oh, cheeky. Mm. Are there cries from the gallery of, you hit Sim further? I swung Sim faster. <laughs> it was a different day. I think I just heard someone just outside <laughs> okay, the fine. Russick's hotel. Fine. Here scream, we go. Laddie, I... you hit that Sim a wee bit further last year. You sure you don't want to switch? <laughs> you definitely hit that wee Sim a bit further last <laughs> Okay, let's get the clubhead speed up there. I'm obviously not in the same wheelhouse today. It's a little more like how I feel like I swung the last time we did this. A little more speed. Get up that hill. Get up there, boy. Yeah. Stay up there just like you would. Oh, that's a little better. Yeah, so as, as kind of time goes on and you hit a few more, um, ramp into it a bit. I mean, it gets, gets awfully good. Two, two really good drivers. Ooh. I mean, but you know, I think you can probably see what we've, We've teed it up very, very well uh, unintentionally mm -hmm. that there isn't a massive amount of difference. There's just a bit of a, uh, probably a different difference under the handle. So you may be aware of a, a slightly different feel. Agree. Um, but in terms of the actual ball flight itself, it's kind of hard to pick them apart. They're, they're obviously the shaft is returning the head in kind of a similar fashion with both of them. I mean, it, as you hit a couple off. more, that strike can actually move back in a little bit. Um, yep. Delivery's the same. It's interesting. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, um, you know, F1 and F3 are, are definitely two shafts to get on your radar and, and give them a try. I, agree. Uh, I think they could be lovely upgrade uh, components to maybe a driver that you already really enjoy. <clears throat> definitely something for the for the stronger player, somebody, but not not somebody who's. I wouldn't normally actually uh, say, you know, someone as quick as you mm. would probably be um, recommended to be looking at this, but it, right. it's holding up very, very it well. It is holding up very well. And I would think the F3 and the stiff and yeah. the regular would fit quite a yeah. few different players, right? But if, if you're the 102, 103 mile an hour guy that, or, or gal who, you know, is looking for a little tighter dispersion, um, the, the 65 gram stiff could be right in your wheelhouse. Mm. You were saying that you've seen a ton of people already that Tons. just that just fits a great number of people uh, in a nice window. Just a no brainer. Yeah. Really, really easy, uh, really easy fit mm. uh, with a bunch of different heads, to be honest. Which Done. is a good sign, right? Yeah. Like it doesn't need to be with one head or the other. It seems to go nicely with a, a bunch of different ones. Definitely. Good. No, I was impressed with that. I okay. think that's really nice. Well, we're, we're sort of uh, making an early call, uh, an early prediction that this is uh, going to be a shaft that a lot of club fit and establishments like yourself uh, are doing very, very well with. Um, and, and if they aren't already doing it, you know, it might be worth pulling it off the wall a few mm. extra times because I think it really could, uh, could do a lot of good for a lot of people. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. The shaft ones are a little bit more sort of niche and um, 
it's always you know more specific to you guys and your feels and stuff like that. You can see though at match speed, you know, 65 gram or 68 gram as is X Flex, more than holds up to his speed. So um, I think that covers a really wide range of players. Probably 110, 112 miles an hour up to 120, and the X Flex would be would be just fine. And they obviously offer 50, 60, 70 all the way up as well. So uh, lots to try for you guys as well. Okay, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.